<laughs> you have a body pillow? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I didn't know that. My mom gave it to me. I use it sometimes. That's, that's weird. What anime character is on it? I bet it's Asuka. Is that the wrestler? She's only 16, but in Germany, that's okay. I mean, okay. yeah, I will accept Asuka the wrestler, yes. She was 14. <laughs> Look at these walls. I know, hey. we did it. New walls. We got ourselves oh. some fan art. Also, there's this really cool thing that we got to show off because we'll never show it off again. That. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Now I know where I work. Wow. The lights are in the way. But and I think we did it there. just in time. Oh. For all us right. to all put on our Vincero watches. Okay. What do you guys think? You may not know the same, but mine is a Vincera. Oh, the female oh. version. Oh, I don't yeah, know. That's true. Oh, the better it Vincera. It says it right here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, really? It says it right yeah. here. <laughs> wow. It really does. Uh, <laughs> we got a deal for you that you can hear about on these watches at the end of the show. My right, first question this week comes from Garrett He Human. Games on slow is such a success. What other things that are typically done quickly would be better being slowed down? Sex. Uh, yeah, of course. Slower. That's, that's that's yeah, it always yeah. ends that's way too one. quick for most of us, right, guys and woman. Yeah. Elise? <laughs> I, mean, I say like make it faster. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> yeah. Because it takes too much time from the gym. From yeah. the gym. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I was going to say Formula One racing, mm. because I thought too if we fast. slowed down, yeah, it's way too fast. Formula dangerous. One racing. Yeah, it's way too dangerous, number yep. one. But number two, we get to see the cars. Look at that, there's a guy in there. Yeah, I'd love, to see, little, I'd love to see a little guy driving. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the Challenger launch. Oh, uh, yes. Absolutely. Because, I, like, I blinked it was and gone. missed everything. It was gone. Where'd it I go? I missed everything. <laughs> where'd, it, where'd the rocket go? You know, Big Bird was supposed to be on that. Every time we go to lunch, I get frustrated that people in front of me order too fast. So mm. I say, let's slow it all down. All right. Lines so, in general. I, do I want more conversation. Yeah. I want more, like, airy questions about what's on each sandwich. Yeah. Take your time, man. I want to savor the experience. I want to get to know people in line. I want them to ask me questions about, I don't know what I'm getting. More coin currency. Yes. Counting each Pennies, one, nickels. a swipe, that's like an instant. In Canada, we actually eliminated the penny. It's redundant currency. Whoa. Like so I've been hearing a lot of that communist talk of getting rid of our time-honored tradition, the penny. I say we introduce more currency, the half penny. Yes. The hay penny. Bring it back. That was an actual currency. Yeah, and the $2 bill. More pence. I would say uh, high school, because high school just like flies by. Could, but it could does. you imagine if it was slower and we were still in high school now? How would be high school? How be so cool? cool. We would be? I love We'd have school. so much money. We could drive our friends around anytime we wanted. We'd go to yeah. any ska concert we'd yeah. ever want to go as to. As we wanted. You go to the school during yes. the day and then you teach a night school class at night. Yes! You can date your students. Yes! <laughs> well, I mean, if the other students are also in their 30s. Yeah, whatever. Then yeah. yeah. That just gets us closer to Riverdale, baby. You bet. We're young and hot and well, we will be forever. We look more. More like 90210. Oh. Yeah. Or Melrose Place. Uh, Matt Peak. We know you wanted to say sex. So mm. instead of sex, since Adam already said it, what, what should we slow down? Along Lawrence's lines, I was going to say eating, especially when you're hungry. Mm. So many times I will be really hungry and eat too fast. And it's like, I didn't enjoy that nearly as much as I could have. If you really stretch it out, you can be eating 24 hours a day. Mm, I mean, and you, you have to always be on a toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, seamless <laughs> tube. The next question from Miami Natural. If your real life sex life had a video game like achievement slash trophy system, what achievement do you most want and or what is the rarest sex trophy you think you have in your current collection? Mine would be uh, over and done with. The trophy over and done with. How many times have you gotten and it? You earn that by uh, finishing within five minutes. Whoa, five minutes? <laughs> yeah, because it's so fast. But, How you know, is that even possible? <laughs> I barely ever get th that trophy. Man. Mm. I think the rarest sex trophy that I actually do have in my current collection is I was thrown up on. Oh, right. And I will not actually tell you how it happened. Yeah, I can imagine. I will just tell you that I was thrown up on in the act of some sort of coitus. Nice. Wonderful. That's why doggy style was invented to prevent you getting oh, thrown yeah, up that's, on. That's, what, yeah. Then you might get pooped on. Does Steam or like Xbox have an achievement for like most friends on your friends list? <laughs> <laughs> None I don't of us know. know. Oh, actually, actually there should Steam. be one for this. Yeah, then you know what? I don't have an answer. <laughs> okay. I would want one of those cool secret achievements, like the ones in Far Cry 4. You know, when like you you do the thing, you do the opposite, where you abstain from the game, and it goes, you know what? You sat there long enough, the game's over. So I, you know, this one's for Jesus. You want the abstinence trophy? Yeah, that okay. or we do it in the butt. Basically, abstinence. Either way, I'm going to heaven. Later, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt Peak. what's the rarest sex trophy you think you have? Or what do you want? I'd say the 
Ooh, cooperagasm. Oh, cooperagasm. Oh, the the, the orgasm at the same time. Achievement. Yeah, yeah. the Dwight orgasm at the same whale. time. Nice job. Is that the menage a two? Yeah, it's just sex between two people. Ooh, yeah. spicy. <laughs> Speaking of orgasms, our next question comes from Jeez. just a lump of Canadian. If you could travel back in time and photobomb any iconic historical photo or painting, where would you go and what would you do? Last Supper. Oh, that's a great one. I didn't even think about I that. I would do Last Supper. And uh, I would be lying on the table like a naked sushi woman. Oh. And they eat off you. They'd be Jesus would be eating off of me. Wow. Body of me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like bread. Uh, I would be definitely in the Sistine Chapel. I want to be one of the angels. And your dick could be out. Oh, he could be the famous angel Metadong. Yeah. Oh. You have a big old angel dick. <laughs> I've always wanted that name. Hell yeah. The, the cock of Christ. And like people oh. see it and they'll be like, oh, that's be beautiful. It is. It is beautiful. It's art. Yeah, your giant hairy dong. I would like to be in the shot of of the time when Lee Harvey Oswald got shot. Oh, yeah, it's a great picture. I'd be holding up a, a billboard that says, get, uh, use this code for GTA tokens or <laughs> oh whatever. Oh my gosh, you get so many. <laughs> wow. Dude, every kid, history tech was like, wow, what a tragic moment. It could have been a conspiracy. What's this thing I can help this Twitch streamer with? <laughs> cool. Um, mine would be Neil Armstrong on the moon, uh -huh. putting the flag, right. which I don't know who took that photo, but- uh, Yeah, who did take it? I guess Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, was. A Hollywood producer. But uh, yeah, he'd be ha ha putting the flag in, and then I would be putting a flag that has a picture of dick butt. Nice. Nice. <laughs> God, you burned him up. Yeah. God bless you. Dick <laughs> butt. Burned him up. I think that I would fit right in on the back of that little Tiananmen Square tank. Oh, so you'd be on the back <laughs> of the tank. You'd be on the tank? Yeah, so I'd be right be in. <laughs> That other idiot was that. walking you like are. an asshole. Lawrence is a communist. I got my groceries, I'm going home. I'm not gonna walk like an idiot. I gotta save these shoes. I only get one, one set a year. Or he got his anime, going home. So I'm gonna hop up on that tank, let it ride me all the way home. You on the tank shouting, get out of the way! <laughs> You're stopping traffic! <laughs> all right, Matt Pig, which, where are you going? What's the one where they're, it's the old time thing where the guys are Building the building and they're sitting on the scaffolding. Oh, yeah. there's yeah. like yeah. Brooklyn yeah. Bridge. Yeah. There's like a New York something skyscraper. Like New York. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Except I'd be wearing clothing of the time, but my shoes would be from today. So people would be like, "Look, there's a time Some traveler." Air Jordans on that guy. He's a time traveler. Oh, that's oh, enough for the conspiracy shoes from the theory time travel people that circle people in pictures and look, they're on their cell phone. <laughs> it's like, they're just scratching their ear. Uh, Big Lebowski ninety seven writes, "Funhouse is put in charge of Rooster Teeth's very first cruise line." This could become a real thing. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, uh, what activities do each of you lead to make the most of everyone's time at sea? I know the first place I'm going, the piano bar. Ooh! I can't play piano, but I can sing. Sing me a so, song, yeah. <laughs> piano Bruce. So I would hit the button on the keyboard that plays the song, you know? And then I would just sing along to that. And oh. if, they, if they requested other songs, I'd be like, yeah, no problem, and press the same button. <laughs> and I'd sing along. Um, I would teach the the ballroom dancing, oh. except we'd only do the backpack kid dance. <laughs> <laughs> over and over. That's and over. it. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I'd be uh, in the back of the boat in the adults only section, Ooh. where we'd be teaching whale hunting 101. Oh, oh awesome. yeah. uh, we do that off a cruise ship. Yeah, okay. We'll find something. <laughs> I'm gonna head up to Kid Corral. All, uh -oh. all the little parent Rusty parents got to drop their kids off. However, there's one thing kids love: it's petting zoos. So yes, bears at sea. Oh, oh, bears. All right. Yeah. Okay. I didn't expect that. Where, what you mean, you different kind of cruise. Yeah. Where, where were you thinking? We put them in little sailor hats. The pl kids get to ride on them, pet them, play with them, as long as there's no waves, because that freaks them out. They get really antsy. Elise? Uh, I'm not generally uh, considered one of those like forward-facing talents that I could leave an activity, lead an activity like that. So I'd probably be in the boiler room, shoveling the shoveling coal, coal for the cruise ship, and I'd try to come up, <laughs> but then they would say like, "No, we can't have the guests." Get back down there. Yeah, we can't have the guests seeing you like when you work backstage at Disneyland, and they're like, "You can't come out here." All right, Elise. Uh, it's from Jove. I'm getting on a flight soon, and there's a strong possibility it will be delayed. Weather issues. What fun activities can I do on the plane to cheer up myself and the passengers? Pretend to be a support animal. Go up and down the Fly aisles. For free. Yeah, put, a yeah. put a little vest on. Yeah, put a little vest on. Right. Crawl up and down the aisles, and then people can pet you and yeah. stuff. Crotch, yeah. lick people's faces. Climb in people's lap. You have so much room on the plane, you might as well. I say you play uh, celebrity charades, where everyone gets to pretend to be their very, very favorite celebrity on a plane. So like Gerard Gepardieu, and you can like pee on the plane. You'd be like Alec Baldwin and yell about your iPad. <laughs> Uh, these are really good. I don't, I don't know these ones. That yet. guy who got beat up and his glasses were crooked yeah, and he's getting dragged yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> All sorts of fun. I, I like playing the game where you fart into the seat and you see how long it takes to come out of the seat. Because sometimes, for some strange reason, when you fart into a seat, it'll stay there. It bakes in. Yeah. Which is you weird. know what it does, though? It pushes out the last fart. That's why it smells like other people's farts. It's not yours. I would uh, 
Get my hot plate out of my luggage, my uh, carry-on. Of course, of course you can bring that on. Get my uh, dry pancake mix, yep. which I brought on because it was sealed and right. it wasn't uh, liquid. <laughs> and I would use the... <laughs> The AC adapter that's in the seat in front of me that never works. Uh -huh. Plug in my hot plate. Nice. Get some water from the steward, uh -huh. from the flight attendant. Of course. And uh, make some uh, flapjacks for everyone on the plane. Oh, oh, that's that's real that's yeah, and I flip them and I go, 32C. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> how many can you make before the marshal blows your brains out? <laughs> <laughs> well, I flip one in, knock the pilot out, and then I would have to fly oh, the plane the and do the whole oh, thing. Oh, Logical tale as old as time. <laughs> I would set a good example uh, by demonstrating proper hygiene. Hmm. So I pop my shoes off, yank off those socks, and start clipping toenails. Uh, they fire sure. off though, man. Yeah. They rock it out of there. You gotta be careful though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're gonna get my pancakes. So keep your mouth closed, because they'll, they'll rock it right in there. Uh, Matt Pig, what about you? What would you do? I think you just start up some either sea shanties or I mean, someone's a, gonna join. You're a sky you're shanties on an airplane, now. not a boat. Okay, well, I mean, it's the boat of the sky. Uh, Air Force shanties. Ah, Ooh. yes, the Air Force shanties that everybody knows and loves. Yes. Like the famous one. Uh, in the Air Force. Force. So careful. <laughs> uh, last question from Matt. All right. Achievement Joe wants to know, Adam, how's your stomach doing? He's looking slim. He's looking great. Very flat, strong core. Um, I saw him doing planks. Yeah, it makes his nipples pop. Makes really brings out the nipples. I would agree. Stop undressing me with your eyes. You're undressing yourself with your hands, and we're just watching with our eyes. Speaking of watching. Whoa, nice one, Adam. <laughs> This episode of Open House is brought to you by Vincero Collective Watches. Are you looking to increase your perceived success and wealth without paying a huge price tag? Vincero has a modern and contemporary style that looks bold and professional. Get the watch built for a boss. A luxury watch doesn't have to cost you a fortune, and you'll see why when you check out Vincero. Every watch is manufactured and quality checked by hand before being shipped out to you. This is the kind of attention to detail and dedication to quality typically only seen with luxury watch brands over $500, while Vincero watches start at little over 100 bucks. With over 5,000 five-star reviews and a two-year warranty, you can shop with confidence. You have to check them out because I know you'll love their watches just as much as I do. Go to Vincero Collect dot com slash open house july and enter the promo code haus to get 15 percent off your entire order don't blend in stand out get a vincero watch at vincero collective dot com slash open house july plus promo code house actually the real answer to that semi question is that uh adam stopped eating cockroach eggs because I'm pretty sure that that's he had... Fair, that's most likely true. Yeah, I think yeah. he had the they cockroach co eggs. They got into the coffee machine here. Over and over and over. everybody drank the coffee here. Yeah. No, I don't know, everybody. Adam was the only one I mean, who was too much of a bitch to handle drinking insect I, feces. I, I, I think I, I can... I figured it out, though. I have royal blood. And that's why I treat you all like shit. Yeah, oh. but if yeah. it's royal blood, it's still Eastern European royal blood, which is like garbage. Yeah. <laughs> we had a you tower. can have all the stew <laughs> you want. You want some mashed roots, sire? <laughs> no. I don't know how you didn't think about China. Obviously. Current Wait, or now? in yeah. the past? What do you mean current? Like her corpse? I, no, I'm not making a sex tape with her corpse. They say that the clitoris continues to grow years after you die. <laughs> if you can't find the clitoris, that's how you know you're really bad in bed. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's gonna find you. Bones? Uh, acid spit in Jesus, I guess. That'd be pretty cool to see. At least you know when he finishes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>